morning before I forget. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, roll 20. I wanted to ask, and if I'm not supposed to ask, that's fine. I'm in another campaign that uh, needs players. Obviously, it would not in any way interfere with this one. It's on Sundays. And it's on. I am. I am all booked for Sundays, unfortunately. What kind of game is it, D&D, or...? It's a D&D 5e, uh, Grim Hollow. Mm. So, Ooh. like, werewolves, vampires, dark stuff. God damn, yeah, I am booked. I would love to, though. I run, I run yeah, Ravenhawk. It's noon every other Sunday. Can't do that. Yeah, no, sorry. Gotta run the magic tournament. That's that right. Day. Just... That's not this Sunday. Oh, Every other Sunday starting the next what? Sunday, not this one. Gotcha. I'm already in too many games. <laughs> I'm yeah. doing too many things. This is the only game I do, and I barely have the energy for that, so... Well, thank you for doing this for us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, happy, happy to do it. DMs don't get enough love. Yeah. Except for when you're shamelessly bribing them, then they get too much. Mm. I don't get enough shameless bribing in this game. I don't. It's not enough combat for me to shameless be shamelessly bribed. I guess. We only we only mm. feel shame when we bribe. <laughs> There's no shameless bribing here. And that's why everyone dies. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Too proud to beg. Eh. I'm not Keith Richards. Friends. We ain't too uh, proud to beg. Oh, well, I am playing the closest thing to Keith Richards because I'm pretty sure First Black <laughs> Standbreath is a narcotic. <laughs> yeah, he also has a life after death account, seemingly. <laughs> Yeah, Keith Richards is a prother. <laughs> the first one, yeah. Yeah, the first Patient one. Zero. <laughs> yeah. All That's prothers funny. are related to Keith Richards. Whoa. Revelations. Bam, bam, bam. All right. Uh, has everybody got all their points spent and everything they want to do? We'll get started. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. yep. All right. Let's... All right. Uh, so, who wants to recap what happened last time, three goddamn weeks ago? Who wants to red cap what happened last time? Got him. Oh, sorry. Changed it. Ah. Oh yeah. Am I still? Oh, good. Anybody? I'm not doing it. No. One. <laughs> one not it. Oh, I'm getting my notes out. Okay. I mean, I can if you want. I just... Uh, I'm just not very good at uh, explaining things. Well, so but... we met... Uh, yeah, I can do a quick thing. I'm not, I remember we met with the locals. They basically told us that they were going to attack the research facility and take out the comm units. Would be, would basically leave us stranded there unless we convinced the people who are doing the research to leave. Um, we decided to try to kind of see if we could play both sides until we could figure out what was best for us. So we're kind of going along or with the until, research. Or until our time's up. Yeah. Because um, fuck them both. Yeah. Um, and we also learned that there's this manifestation of their god that's just this giant creature that moves through the trees and when it gets angry enough, it comes out. Am I leaving anything out? Missing anything really vital? Um, uh, for uh, side quest information, uh, Click royally pissed off our Shaktar war veteran NPC dickhead. <laughs> that did Which, happen. You know, yeah. yeah. Now, Commander. Now, Commander Worf hates us. 
Oh, he hated us before. <laughs> no, he didn't respect us before. Now he doesn't like us. There's a difference. I think it might be the other way around, but either way, not good. <laughs> All right, well, let's get things started. So uh, we ended last time with the APC coming back to Camp Terra 15. Uh, you walk inside. Um, the rest of the research team is kind of mulling around, but Grealish is usually the first person to kind of come and, and uh, engage with you whenever... You've come back from one of these in the past, so this time's no different. Um, so he kind of goes over to you um, with kind of an excited, like, spring in his step. He says, um, so, uh, so what happened out there? Conathor, uh, in the kind of silence where everybody is trying to figure out who's going to leave this conversation, Conathor's like, how to run with the locals. Grealish's eyes uh, kind of like light up. He's like, "Oh, really? So you you made contact with them?" Yep. Hey, they were nice. Is. Well, until they weren't. Oh yeah, they weren't nice. They're well, nice to me. What happened? They oh. jumped us, and then. Shrek kind of did his thing. And I point to the blood that it was on for Shrek's uh, claymore. You, yeah. I'm... So you had an altercation with them? You you fought? Them? Aye. Aye. Very yeah. low quality primitive weaponry and uh, cleaved up two of them. The rest of them ran. You, you killed two of them? Aye. That's usually what happens when you use a sword. At least two. <sighs> um, he he lets out a, a little bit of a of a groan. He's like, "Well, I mean, if they engaged you first, and it's only fair that you defended yourself. It's disappointing, but he kind of he kind of nods his head and he's like, um, you yeah, know, but it is it is understandable that the uh, that that's what you had to do. So he says, um." As you know, you guys are talking. Um, Caleb comes up and he kind of uh, turns to Caleb, you know, who's been listening in on this. He's like, "We're just gonna have to let Slay Industries know that we'll probably just have to clear them out of here rather than trying to recruit them." Caleb kind of lets out a little bit of sighs, like, "Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like it's gonna be that way. We can't just have them blindly attacking us." So I'll let them know they're gonna be disappointed, but doesn't seem like they have a lot to contribute as a community anyways. Seem pretty savage. Grealish nods in agreement. Uh, he turns back to you and says, were any of you hurt in the fight? No, we're fine. No. Armor, weaponry, damage, nothing like that? No, I mean, I'm pretty... Yeah. You're not just like, well, that's good news at least. Uh, he kind of uh, he motions over to Sonora and says, um, Sonora's prepared food, so um, feel free to eat and then in, you can take the rest of the day off. Sounds like you've had a, quite an adventure. He, uh, he, uh. yes. What's your plan, then? What do you mean? Uh, I says, he says, uh, well, I mean, if they're going to engage, ho if they're going to be hostile towards us um, without us having been hostile to them to begin with, there isn't really much hope to establish some sort of rapport. So we'll probably just, uh, we'll probably just clear them out and we, we come across them. It's going to be up to Slay if they want us to mm. do that job or if, uh, They'll send crews when when they actually work to terraform the planet. Hmm. Wonder if only one interaction should guide our decision for all of them. I don't know. I don't know. 
he he kind of froze his brow. He's like, do you have reason to believe that these people were not acting in the interest of the tribe? Well, I don't know. I think uh, we don't necessarily know that there aren't more than one tribe, that there aren't... We haven't really had the chance to study them. I feel like it's a very interesting uh, culture here. Maybe we don't give up so easily. In the interest of knowledge, of course. Caleb uh, responds like... Um... What's what's so interesting about the culture? We really don't know that much about them. Did you find something in your encounter with them? No, but that's my point. We don't know much about them yet. Maybe there is something still to be learned. Um, Grillish is like, well, I don't. We we can't spend all of our time trying to make good and find out about people who are going to just continually attack us. He he motions to um, for Shrek's sword. He's like, you got the better of them this time. It does seem that we have superior weaponry and armor, but we don't know this area. They could trap us very easily. It can be, still be dangerous. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get uh, I wouldn't get lulled into a false sense of security. We should probably just we should probably just eliminate them as quickly as we can. Yeah, I, I think we got lucky there, to be honest with you. I mean, unscratched in any combat is luck. Absolutely. <clears throat> we should definitely make sure the base defenses are tight in case they do plan anything. Hmm. He nods in agreement. He's like, uh, it would be bold of them, but again, we don't know. We don't know what the advantages they have in terms of terrain and environment. So he... Uh, he I mean, they... I mean, we're a train squad, and they got the jump on us. So. Mm -hmm. And they, we are on their turf, so I definitely make sure process. all your stuff's up to par. Um, I don't know if you got if you've been doing any guard shifts or anything like that around here, but I would definitely make sure that they're not just you know watching old fights on the video machine or something like that. That they're actually doing their job. Uh, Grealish is like, well, the the station does have a variety of motion sensors that will protect, will de that will detect uh, anyone who is advancing on the building and then provide us with notifications. We haven't really been doing a specific guard schedule, but changing our sleep shifts might not be a bad idea, although that will be limited as we don't have, we want to, we need to work together as a team. Um, if you would like to volunteer to do the guard duties, then you're more than welcome to. I mean, we could probably work it out. You got a cannon? Uh, we do have defenses, uh, point defense on the base, uh, a turret, automated turrets at the corners, so we would be able to fend them off if, uh, if anything like that was to be necessary. Ah, uh, I was wondering about non-automated turret, but, uh, well... Though it is unknown how effective that turret would be against the creature who came stomping around here a couple days ago. Hopefully we don't have to find out. Uh, quick question. Yes. Does your turret see optical? How does it work? Uh, it has standard optics as well as infrared sensors okay should try those just in case we weren't really able to see them coming I see so they're heavily camouflaged mm. he nods he's like uh, make a note of that anything else that would be helpful for defense or to find out about them or to exploit some sort of weakness they may have Eh. They seem pretty humid to me. And what do you mean by that? They are like, you know, humans or something like myself. Mm -hmm. well, did you notice anything physically that was different other than, or, you know, from 
the typical types of humanoid life forms we find on Morph. Meh. They're so pasty bastards, so they, if anything, they are a lot like stuff we find on Morph. He, uh, he kind of is contemplating something, and then he, he kind of nods his head. Um, he looks back to Caleb. He's like, oh, we should probably work up a dossier for Slay and update them on this information and see what they might have to say about that. He kind of motions back to the rest of you. He's like, uh, please uh, enjoy, you know, enjoy your lunch and make yourself comfortable for the rest of the day. We'll meet up again soon. We'll meet up again later on in the evening to discuss what the next steps should be. And he kind of walks off with Caleb. Uh, Sonora is in the working at a um, working at a desk um, at one of the lab computers. Um, on the table, there's some food that um, it's they look like rations that have been gussied up essentially. Um, and Sonora just kind of pleasantly nods to the lot of you before kind of just going back to her work. I start digging it. I start eating the food, and I'm going to try to, like, keep glancing over to see, like, what she's working on. Okay. Um, she is... Uh, you, it's tough to tell by getting, you know, kind of just glances over her shoulder, but it looks like she is, mm, she has some sort of schematic of, like, uh, a geographic fixture. Like, you can't tell based on the size whether or not it's, like, a rock or a boulder or a friggin' mountain, um, but she has something that's kind of, like, pulled up in, like, a 3D model. Um, that she kind of seems to be studying, and on the left-hand side of it, there's, like, text scrolling. It seems to be, like, analytical data. Um, okay. Something along those lines. So she's... You can't tell if she's running some sort of test or calculation or, or what it might be, but uh, she's involved in whatever it is. Uh, I'm going to... After eating up for a little bit, I'm going to get up and kind of wander over the closer and just kind of be like, so what are you working on? Uh, you, you kind of startled her a little bit. She was kind of so engrossed in what she was working on. She just kind of glanced back up and she's like, oh, um, mineral sample. Uh, she kind of like nods over at the thing. She's like, uh, we collected some rocks and we're just trying to, um, go through them and see if there's any sort of latent dormant, uh, ebb related energy, uh, in the rocks themselves or if they're coming from a centralized spot. Um, we're still trying to figure out the source of the readings we've been getting. So she kind of like, she um, motions to the back room where the samples are stored. She's like, based on the creatures you brought over, there is clearly some sort of ablacing in a lot of the different areas of this environment. So um, mm -hmm. the more we can find out about it, the better. Yeah, it'd be pretty uh, valuable. You could find some like natural source of flux gems. She nods. She says, if that is something that is a resource here, it would be absolutely invaluable to Slay Industries, more so than maybe any other planet we've come across so far. It's exciting. Yes, sounds it. I mean, the power that, like, we could get from that would mm -hmm. be great. She, uh, she glances up at you. She's like, uh, the people that you faced, they didn't seem to have any sort of abrelated markings, abilities. I don't suspect that the, the other people would have picked up on it, but if you noticed anything? Uh, I didn't see any use of power or feel any use of power. I mean, that's not really my specialty, but I mean, I know what to look for, and I didn't really see anything that could be construed as it. I mean, they, I, they also died pretty quickly, but there was no like regenerating, healing, um, anything like that. She nods. She says, um, they weren't using anything technological at all? Uh, not that I really saw. I saw spears and, I mean, somehow they got the jump on us. They might be using maybe some type of ebb to do that, but mm. I don't really know of any invisibility or didn't seem like they were reality folding or anything like that. Just like light manipulation, perhaps? She says, she kind of shakes her head. She's like, it's not something we've 
seen, at least not to the point of camouflaging in yeah. Ebs on Mort, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it couldn't be something related here. So it's something to make note of, for sure. She kind of yeah. nods and continues to study the sample, and she lets out a sigh. She's like, mm. well, it doesn't seem like it's it's evenly traced throughout the all of the minerals in this planet. So I was hoping it might be. It seems like it's going to be a little bit more of a needle in a haystack. Uh, in the area that we found the creatures in, uh, have you tried looking, concentrating on there? Maybe it's something local to that area. She nods. She's like, we'll definitely, um, we'll definitely go collect more samples, perhaps from the river. Uh, it could be something in the water as well. She says, you did collect some river water samples, correct? I think I can go wring out my clothes from yesterday. <laughs> She laughs. She's like, I'm pretty sure that we, we got some. I don't think we've gotten to them yet. Um, so she's like, so between that and the tissue samples of the creatures, we should be able to get some more information about that area. As well as, I believe, there was some f uh, some flora samples um, that we can study. So if it is localized to that particular area, then we should be able to pick up on that. Yeah, I'll kind of try to keep my uh, eye out for anything that kind of looks like it might be had powers. I mean, those creatures didn't seem like they had much ability, but, but they, they were still infused something. with them. Yeah, clearly yeah. had something that reacted to us. And she says, it's like, that's, it may not even be specifically flux. We may be dealing with an entirely new chemical here that just re reacts with the ebb in a certain way, which is, in certain ways, even more exciting, potentially. Yeah, it could be. Um, well, keep me up to date, because this seems like it'd be really interesting to, if we can find something. She, uh, she smells up, she's like, I'll, I'll keep you filled in. Maybe they can name it after us. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Um, and then I kind of walk off. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the rest of you are at the table sitting and eating, left mostly to your own devices. Um, Conathor is, uh, sitting on the couch. Um, just, there's, the TV is on, and it doesn't seem to really be particularly watching, and he glances over at you, everyone, you, you guys every once in a while. Um, I don't know if I'm the best person to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> the right fuck now? you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I, just, I whisper to my to my squad. Wait, wait, wait. Look, we're gonna have to live with we're gonna have to live with this lad for a while. So I'm gonna try and earn his respect. <sighs> uh, <laughs> it's okay. But let's just let's just leave it alone for now. No, 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 no. No, no. no trust me. Nothing trust me. I, I I talk to him, and I think any the slightest thing. He's probably gonna try to kill you. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't want to lose another teammate. That's all I'm saying. Um, I'll be fine. Don't worry. Right I know back. what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, first Rex is going to grab a um, bowl of rations. Mm -hmm. Just sit on the other end of the couch next to Conifer. Okay. Reggie's like, no! <laughs> Conifer just kind of glances over to you, but doesn't say anything. So. His, his Your last... what? His eyes kind of bat up as he waits for you to finish the sentence. Your war world, eh? That's right. Dante, he two tours. Gnarly stuff. You follow a regiment here, or do you keep yourself too busy? It's like... I have orders to follow. I follow what I'm given. Aye. 
do you keep your training up out here? Because I would like to know some secrets from a real vet. You know, I'm just a fucking gutter cleaner. I would like to know the real shit. <laughs> you think you could show me something? He says, um... When you train to go to, to Dante or to any of the war worlds, you... The military exercises are not non-lethal. There isn't really any sparring that we can do, if that's what you're asking. But, with that being said, if you're still interested, I suppose I can give you a head start. Oh, 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 we're, we're doing that. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh... Oh, we're doing that. All right. Well, um, so we don't make as much of a mess. You mind we do it no, no weapons, boss, or is that not? Or is it too late for that? He, uh, he leans back against the couch. He's like, um, this is your decision. We don't have to do anything, but if you want to do something, then we do it for real. Uh, first rec, could you come here for a second? <laughs> <sighs> Try and get me our shot off. What do you what do you want? He's going to kill you. That's what he's saying. I... He literally just said that. I... He's going to kill you. <sighs> uh, as you, you guys are kind of powwowing over, he's like, there's one thing I don't get about today. Kind of Sonora kind of glances up too as he gets the attention of her who's in the room. It's like, um, why didn't you just open fire on them as soon as they got the jump on you? They captured you at first. Bullets are expensive, and I thought we were here as an exploratory force. He, uh, he motions over to your sword that you propped up in the corner. He's like, uh, yeah, you explored him pretty good with that. So why didn't you just do it right away? Bullets are expensive. Uh, I brought, like, 24 total. He motions, he's like, that's a fucking sword you cut two of them in half with. Yeah, he used his sword and cut him in half. Yeah, why didn't you do that immediately? Why did they, why'd you let them lead you off? The I will of admit that, uh, I... Again, maybe it's foolish of me, but I really wanted to see if there was any way of communicating with them, to learn more about them. I didn't necessarily want it to turn to violence, unfortunately. I was wrong, was not able to pacify them or learn anything in that particular situation. So I will take the blame for that. I'm sorry. It was dumb of me. Um, Sonora kind of chimes in. She's like... I mean, if they were trying to find out more about them and they didn't feel that they were a particular threat, then it stands to reason that they would have let them try and lead them somewhere where they could have gotten more information. She kind of she kind of furrows her eyes. She's like, did it turn sour between the group of you on the way? Or, or what happened there? Is still there? Yeah, I can hear you. I got all of that. Hello? Can you hear? No. No, Sabrina can't hear us. No. Sabrina, we can hear you fine. Let me try and type out. So yeah, Sonora kind of chimes in and comes to your defense a little bit. Um, I can't. Mm. Uh, oh, okay. Can Something you... weird's happening to my can... computer. Can you hear us now? You may lose me. Can you hear us now? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but I, I don't know. My computer. Rip. Rest in peace. God damn it. All right. Um, Conathor, uh, 
just kind of, uh, you know, he, he looks back at uh, Sonori and says, Anytime you let the enemy lead you to some place that you're not familiar with that is foolish and a recipe for death, they should have disposed of them as soon as they were hostile, and still, as soon as they were engaged with hostility. Sonora shrugs. She's like, Operatives handle things differently, Conathor. They're different than Warbats. Says they're weaker. Then they kind of just goes back to half watching the TV. <sighs> as you uh, four are at the five, but uh, Reggie's right, away right now, as you five are at the table. Um, again, it kind of like after that little bit of a back and forth, there's like a lull. You, the, f f the five of you can kind of speak to yourself in relative privacy as long as you speak quietly. So if there's anything you want to talk about, then feel free. So, real thousand yard stare type. Yeah. Um, something still bugs me. Uh, about Grealish. You said there's there's no there's nothing in his file. He doesn't have any information. He doesn't act like right. neophrons really act. Right. I thought that was weird. Maybe they're his files, and he is an odd duck for the ducks. Maybe, but Archie, Archer, sorry. <laughs> um, tell me more about. What was that word you used? Bevapons? Tell me more about those. What can they do? Through this archer, too? Are you asking me? No. I was no, asking ar archer. Archer. Ar archer. Bill. Hey, Bill. Lana. Lost another one. Man. Rip. Dead. I didn't know. My com my computer's just Was your microphone muted asking. and you didn't know? I don't know. Oh, it, it was I thought it was it was on. You guys can hear me now, right? Yeah, I can. Yeah. 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 I say uh I guess you know that they're like slay science project and I think they can see behind their heads or something. It's it's all really uh it was maybe like a stormer project, maybe like a war world project. I don't know, maybe I mean most of that stormer stuff's for fighting, right? So how many, ranks the, in, how many ranks in Slay Info do you have? I just have the one. Just I'm the trying one. to be vague. Okay. Yeah. yeah, fair enough. Um, I'm like, maybe the War World guy knows something about him. Yeah. I mean, maybe not, because he doesn't seem like he wants to talk about anything, but... Well, in order to get any information out of him, we're going to have to come clean with the rest of them. Yeah. Which I'm okay with. Yeah. Uh, all right, we won't do that. Well, I mean, if you wanted to, I'd be fine with it. But if we don't want to, that's fine too. Sort of. I just mm -hmm. want to finish this job and yeah, survive. Yeah, Same, <laughs> thing. Same, buddy. I want a payday. But... Well, that would be nice too. If we gotta split it. We gotta split it. No, this yeah. is a. This is this is still a BPN. We're each getting that payout, right? No, right. No, I mean the possible bonus. Oh, 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 yeah. Not have that. Information. I'm more worried about the consequences of not saying anything. Yeah, but me, yeah, me too. Um, that's another thing I was gonna ask. Is like, do we think this Ulani thing is real? Uh, you mean like the giant thing it? that we heard coming through the I trees? Mean, it yeah, it heard. attacked. They're not attacked, but it, it saw some it trees. Came through. There, uh, yeah. we know that they have that stuff. <sighs> How do we know it wasn't them? Could be. You think they have a giant bloody robot or something? No, but what if they're just like? Or that because they trees? can be invisible, they're messing up, messing with us. Did the ground shake when we... Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Like, well, we felt it coming. Yeah, well, but again, you they've got slay stuff and people with the know-how to use it. It's true. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's just something to think about. Aye. And I think but... if we spill the beans on what happened, then our mission is going to change drastically. Also. Because they're going to want In us the to... sense that we would... Yeah. Have to, to like, capture them, them or something? I feel like we're going to have to do something about them. I don't know if it's that or kill them or... Whatever, you know. We come clean, the... They're gonna have us do a lot of killing and probably hey. try and bring back those Ooh. three. Do we, like, maybe? What do we come clean to? I mean, do we have to tell these people, or is there a way to contact Slay without telling them? I don't really like these people that much, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I mean, uh,. Can, uh, again, can you send a written message to Slay, like an email? Send hey, it track out out. So we should uh, <laughs> we should be able to use their equipment to do it if we can get at get at it. Ah, that's a thing. The bloody nerd. The bloody nerds are always at their equipment. We really need to do something to get them away. We do. That would be a caper. Reggie, you would know, um, based on you being the leader of a group, that in, in the event of, of subspace communication, uh, that there will probably be some sort of encrypted channel, which means that the person who is sending the communication would have some sort of encryption key that they would be using. So in order to send something without, um, without the knowledge of the research team, you would need to get an encryption key and then send the message to back to Mort Central. Uh, is that a difficult thing to do? Well, if it's written down, then no. If it's memorized, then yes. I also thought of something just now. One of them could be here right now, listening to us. Yeah. Theoretically. That's why I was asking. Well, they do have motion sensors, right? Yep. Which motion sensors could still pick up movement even if it's not visual? The motion we sensors. We don't know anything about what they got. Motion sensors don't work in the storm. Well, they do. They okay. just show lots and lots of motion. Aye. <laughs> they work super well. <laughs> I, if one of them I start, is like, here, they around. Here the whole <laughs> I don't feel anything. <laughs> is anyone in this empty chair? Who is this couch? <laughs> Yeah, I switched to the infrared just, one, just one of them pulls up their hood and goes, no one will ever believe you, and then puts it back down. <laughs> They're in the couch. Freaking Danny DeVito. <laughs> I, I would feel more comfortable with saying what's going on, but I don't know what to do. I'm the new guy. Well, by all our balls, we're definitely not telling Carnivore. He'll just gun us down. Probably. Maybe. Or he'll gun them down, which would be even less Pretty much, Pretty us. much what I've gathered about him is that he's really only in it for himself. He's not in it for to help them or to help us. He just wants... <laughs> So, it is entirely possible that he could, if given this information, uh, want to report it himself and take the credit. I think he's just doing a job. He's not a... He's not a politics guy. He's a action guy. Yeah. He's a sit with the truck kind of guy, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. This is a conundrum. Well, I don't mean... I'm thinking maybe we 
say we need to we want to do some of our own scouting and come back and say we met with them and that we don't have to have fess up to lying on this time mm. yeah because they're going to wonder why we lied this time it already looks shady that we were hiding stuff from them I don't fully understand well, this the uh, encryption key thing. Is that like it's basically like a password? I have to steal from would I have to steal that from someone to like get onto the computer? Again, like... it's a password. So if you find it somewhere, you can use it. If it's not written down anywhere, then the only way to, to use it is to get it from the person who knows it. Which is Grealish. Yeah. So you if you're trying to use Grealish, keylogger. Program a keylogger. Wait for them to use it. Get key. Use key. <laughs> I don't know how to do that, but I saw it on a cop show okay. once. I mean, I'd be all for doing that if that's a thing I could do. Mm, modern slate computers would be using probably technology that would not be able to be key logged, and also, too, you really don't have the ability to program a device that would be able to record it or software based on the limited amount of time and access you have to these computers anyways. This was supposed to be an op for the cream of mushroom soup, people. Right. There's, uh, well, I was going to say, someone who's more stealthy than I searching through Grealish's stuff to see if he wrote his password somewhere, but uh, it's probably uh, too easy. <laughs> but yeah, maybe we should just do some scouting of our own and figure things out. Alright, fuck it. Of course it also, you know, there's the off chance that one of the little local bastards is lurking out there. Alright, well... I was muted the whole time. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't Stop say muting yourself. <laughs> what, were you, what were you gonna say there? Click. I just said what's for dinner. <laughs> um, so the, like I said, the dinner that they're the well, they don't have dinner yet. Um, so Sonora's like, uh, this again. <laughs> um, it's you know the the rations is basically like lentils, you know, and like a broth, you know, nothing nothing super special or fancy, but, you know, decent as far as rations go. Not quite as good as the haggis rations. <laughs> well, we did say we might volunteer to help with security outside, right? Yeah. Okay. That might be, um... That's what we're here for. Okay. Well, I meant, like, because we said we were going to keep watch outside or whatever, so maybe that's our way of doing something. I can do that. I'm equipped for that. Got me me uh, all the things in scope. I've got the ears of a fox. I also had this crazy idea that... Uh, if we somehow got them, like the people here, to like pick off the other research team and conveniently not us, be like. <laughs> That'd be nice if they ever left. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Or, you know, the ones that did leave weren't as sneaky or as hard, pointing to, like, you know. 
the sneaky one and fucking red guy. <laughs> Am I the sneaky one? No, no. The, the the other one. Not you. Run Marn, the Wraith Raider. Alright. Oh. Well, I'm gonna get me shite together. I'll meet y'all outside for a little walkabout. We had the day off. We have, I guess if we have the day off, then we can do whatever we want, right? Aye. Well, I mean, I've... I mean, we should probably get permission from Larry Lash, but it'll be like, hey, can we explore around this area? Aye. As long as we're not going too far. We'll leave the car parked. Bring our weapon, we'll go for a walk around this area. This is a, you know, it is a beautiful place. We can see if there's any place to relax. Alright, well, I'm gonna go masturbate and get me armor together. Not I'm sure not in that order. I'll be back. Why would you do it in the opposite one? <laughs> He's gone. Yeah. Alright, so do you and let Grealish know that you want to take a walk about? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. yeah, you go You go over uh, and uh, him and uh, him and Caleb are working on uh, getting together the communique for uh, Slay Industries, and he kind of like glances up to you. It's like, uh, uh, yes, Patch. Uh, yeah. So we're talking with the team. Those things got the jump on us out in the woods. The people. Uh, we kind of want to basically walk the the perimeter of the camp. Um, if it seems safe, maybe even take some R and R. You know right around here uh we don't think they'd have the balls to attack someplace like this but still you know beyond the we kind of want to see what in this area see if there's any tracks of them maybe they've been spying on us if they managed to get the jump on us see if they even see any tracks around this area gorilla uh gorilla smells like ah yeah so can understand uh, not wanting to be cooped up in here with your free time, so he kind of shrugs and says, um, you know, feel free to look around. Uh, I would advise being back before dark, just to be safe. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, especially with that thing the other night. Uh, definitely don't want to be caught out. He, like he nods in agreement. He's like, um, keep your communication lines open and let us know if you come in across anything interesting or distressing. Oh, with that thing, the other, did we know, did we, I forgot if we'd asked them, because, you know, it was weeks ago. Uh, did they experience every, anything else like that? Or have we asked them if they've experienced anything else like that? When the creature, the... The research team? Yeah. No, that was the first time. Okay. Um, then, yeah, then I'm gonna... Okay. Scoot up and wait for the team to get assembled and kind of head out. Oh, let's oh, do yeah? another one! Okay. Okay, so uh, you guys get prepared. You go outside. Step out. Sun, you think, is pretty bright. Um, the ground around you is illuminated, but the tree cover overhead, you can only see little peaks of the sun through. But it's still there, and it's not raining currently. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to walk around and actually do what I said I was going to do for a little bit and start walking around, kind of looking to see if there are any tracks 
or anything that I can pick up. I'm not the best at survival, especially since I was like raised in a city. But you see if there's any like muddy footprints or anything from okay along the edge of like the clearing cleared area that we're in. Okay, yeah, you make your you make your way around the outside um, along the shoreline um, where of the little pond um, that the research station is situated over. You don't see anything. Um, you see like some animal tracks here and there, um, like small, like three-legged, you know, tracks, things like that. Um, but nothing that resembles anything large or humanoid. Paul. Yeah. I have a keen hearing um, merit. Yeah. What skill would it be to try and um, be like, oh, those steps were about this far away. Let's go check out over there. For what? For like the big thing? Yeah. Trying to you know, use my keen hearing and, like, so the tax skill to try and, like, remember how far away that might have been. I would give you a plus one to your tracking if you had anything in tracking based off oh. of that. I mean, if you don't have tracking, you can just make an unskilled roll for, what is that, uh, concentration? You could do that sure. if you wanted to. Okay, so that's two dice at a plus... Um, three. You adding in the one for the hearing? Yes. Okay, good. Hey, I got nine, so no. Yeah, so you're you're kind of like trying to look around, um, and just kind of remember based on the sounds, but it was so loud and so f much. You know, really kind of just surrounded you that you really can't make out where it came from. But that being said, um, you know, this is a big ass fucking monster stomping through the forest. Like it had to knock over some trees. Like you, if y'all do some looking around enough, you'll probably find where it came from. We hope. Unless this is the planet of Ninja Godzilla. <laughs> just floating through. I fought I fought a ninja bigger than me in a game once. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I'm I'm looking for Godzilla for Godzilla tracks. Okay, you gonna walk off on your own or are you letting the others know where you're going? Letting the others know where I'm going. Yeah, I'm gonna follow along behind. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we should split up. That's probably a bad idea. Okay. Does well, it does anyone you... in the party have anything in tracking? What What are you lads looking at? Um, then? I got two. Two. Mm -hmm. Who ranks, that baby? Was, that was Ralka. He was the tracker. <laughs> what? Was... Rust in peace. <laughs> Why am I not making sound again? Oh, yeah. No, I oh, hear you, Bill. Okay. I got two. Well, uh, if you're all going as a group, if somebody wants to make a tracking roll on behalf of the rest of the group, you can go ahead. Uh, I have plus five to that. Okay. Um, you, you, the group of you kind of walk for a little bit. You, because you're kind of unfamiliar with the terrain and because it lacks a lot of the defining features of cityscape, you end up kind of circling back and kind of getting lost and not really, you know, like, think you're going west when you end up going east. Um, but eventually you do come across after probably about an hour or so of searching um, a, a break in the tree line um, where you can see sun coming through, like, much more considerably. Um, and then, like, you come out into a clearing and you just see, like, a path that's just kind of cut out that almost looks like it's been just, like, clear cut if it wasn't for the fact that like you see just a lot of trees just like knocked down on the ground like some of the trunks are like snapped in half from where this thing probably stepped on it like you have very clearly found you know the location of, of where this thing went or came from 
Okay, cool. I believe. Do we see the track? Um, it's it's a thing of like you can kind of see like an indentation in the ground, but it doesn't. It's so big you can't even really like unless you were like in a helicopter. You really wouldn't be oh, able to decide. It's one of those. It's one of those. Oh, we are standing. Yes, in it. you are in the track. Yes, precisely. Um, yeah, the the indentation in the ground is probably about twelve feet by twelve feet. Um, Big boy. And it does generally resemble the shape of like a foot, you know, or it's like curved, like you can see kind of like different indentations for toes or I don't know, whatever you call toes on a fucking big monster. Like those things are there, so. Well, lads, we've determined that it has feet. This is a great scientific awesome. breakthrough. <laughs> you should probably That's think right. At the very least, we'll definitely tell uh, Sonora about this. Um, you, you got an indication of direction, so we kind of know which way it came from and where it's going or where it went. Left anything behind? We could take a sample of maybe. Scrapes up against that many trees is bound to slough off something. It took a shite. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Uh, do I want to follow it? I mean, La, I you're it. you're a slay oh, operative. You should be ready to go right. Face versus into the sewer. I mean, I am just not up against a giant I, monster. I was just thinking, you know, take oh. a look at the trees and stuff and see if there's any goop we can collect. I, uh, yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> thought, Jesus thought new lot here was a <laughs> thought new lot here was afraid of a pile of shite. I was like, give your balls a tug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shorzy. <laughs> Does anyone uh, have anything in biology, forensics? Any... I have uh, forensics. Yeah. Okay. I have forensics two. Okay, forensics two. Does anybody have better than forensics two? Nope. Forensics two with a total of five. Biology is just one with a total of four. Okay. Or sorry, zoology. Mm, zo what? How many ranks in zoology do you have? Uh, one. One. Okay. Same. One in zoology as well. Do you have any in forensics, Reg? Just one. Just one, okay. Well, yeah, so if you want to try and find some fucking bio matter to sample from this thing, then yeah. go for it. Give me a roll. Okay. And that's plus five, yep. so. I thought I was doing it. Oh. I mean, we can both be looking. <laughs> I the intention was for okay. Hatch. Well, you got your your skill die was a ten. My skill die was a ten, yeah, and then six, six, and then yeah. Uh, oh, Hatch. All right, yeah. So I'll I'll see that between yeah. you know the tw the two of you kind of combine your efforts, uh, and you do see um, as you're kind of looking around you kind of get a glimpse of something um, that looks like it was probably like that big of a chunk of like it almost looks like scales or like you know like when uh, a lizard sheds its skin um, something like that uh, it, you find it in a tree uh, about 40 feet up oh boy it was good at climbing I say looking at for Shrek <laughs> Uh, 
now is climb its own separate skill? I mean, I think I took I think I took it. Or can I use athletics? Climbing. This would be straight climbing. If you were, like, trying to balance across something or come down from something athletics, I could kind of... No, it might be, like, acrobatics, maybe, but no, it climbs its own skill. I have one rank in that. Oh. Well, okay. Get the guy with one rank in it. That's me. These, new fang these newfangled systems made me think athletics was useful. Yeah. Athletics three is to that. more, like, running-based. The problem with systems with lots and lots of skills is there's like a skill for everything you need that skill. <laughs> yeah. And and this is tuned and, and this is tuned down from the first version of this game. Uh oh, yeah. plus what to that, uh, Archer? Three. Three. Alright. Um you start progressing your way up the tree. Um you're having a little bit of, of trouble once you start to get like about halfway up. Um, you, you get about like 20 feet up and then you start to hit branches that are a lot less stable, uh, and kind of sway a lot more. Um, and you, you've kind of hit like a, a sticking point. So it's up to you if you want to try and continue on or turn back, continue on, you will need to make another roll. All right. Uh, that roll. Okay. Um, getting better. By that I mean we're getting worse. So you you go to uh, climb up, uh, and then as you start to go through, you're like, you kind of like steal yourself. You're like, all right, I can I can do this. Uh, you get about another five feet up, uh, and then you go to grab a branch, and then you feel the one that you're on just kind of shift, crack, and break, uh, and you start to fall uh, towards the ground. Uh oh. Um. I try to grab something okay. on the way down. Um, uh, for that, I will... Do you have anything like acrobatics or anything like that? Nope. All right. You can give me an athletics check for that. Okay, I got that. Plus five to that one. Okay. Um, yeah, you you try and um, you try and reach and and grab out um, on the way down, um, but everything you just you grab just kind of breaks under you. Like you maybe slow up your fall a little bit, um, but you still come down and crash down to the ground pretty hard. Um, Uh, luckily your armor absorbs most of it. Um, take, uh, four damage, um, and then whatever your armor takes off of that. Um, Which if you have body blocker, body blocker then, yeah, then I think that takes it all. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, you, you kind of, like, reach out, you grab, um, you hit a few more branches on the way down, and then you kind of, you slam to the ground. Um, luckily you landed pretty flat. You, you took the standard bump. Um, landed flat back, uh, you know, spread the weight out. So you're knocked the wind out of you pretty good. Um, but nothing broken, nothing even really bruised. You're pretty okay. Oops. Yeah. You guys watched him plummet from 20 feet or so up. That's all a tough climb. Having a newfound respect for body blocker all of a sudden. <laughs> well, um, take, take off my grappling hook and try again. No. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have to get it. We can just tell them it's there. At least yeah. we know it's real now. Is it something that can be, um, like, if someone were to aim something at it, it could be knocked down, or is it like stuck to the tree? Uh, you theoretically could throw something at it and knock it loose. Uh, it'd be a hell of a throw. It's forty feet away and it's up, but it's possible. We need a sleigh or drone. Shoot, shoot the branch down or something. We don't want to really just... Anyway, it's not something yeah. I can do, but... <laughs> well, actually... Someone else could try it. No, I'm just saying, if somebody else is better at either shooting things or throwing things, that they should do that and not me. Can we just mark it for the scientist? Let him know it's yeah. here? Yeah. It's their I'm job. I'll get that. 
carve a smiling face into the base of this tree. Oh. Okay. For sure. Now that, here. <laughs> now they know. Yeah. Well, folks, have we seen enough yet? Uh, yes. No. Any of you locals uh, around, you can come maybe. out. Lonnie, Lonnie. Maybe we should uh, get the story straight before we go back in there. What story? That we're giving oh. them? I thought you guys were... I was Something saying that we ran into the people the, again. Yeah. I mean, that's if we want to fess up to everything. I, I mean, we can make something up, but as long as we're... I know some of you are hesitant, but as long I'm as fine we're just making telling them the truth and getting our pay to... Yeah, I mean, uh, like we, Archer said, we're not going to for me. We're not gonna tell them about those three. Right. Yeah. We're gonna wait till we're off world and tell some big, big wig before we get let them get the credit. All right. Or, or we cannot. I mean, just let me know when we're all stormer sympathizers. I'm not sympathizing. I'm just, you know, better to know your enemy. What if they come looking for the comms? Like, they know what to break. I... We need to... I'm not dying we, on this planet, that's what I'm telling you. We need to protect that... We need to protect that tower for as long as we're here. Yeah, we do. I uh, do have... Some... what we tell them, I don't think it should change the plan. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if they try to enslave them, they're going to fight. It's not going to be worth it. Not eight. So we're not okay. telling them about the Vavvons? <laughs> yeah, we can no. tell them about the tribe, but not the... No, no. No. We tell, we tell like, we tell like some, what are, what are the secret police called like? Cloak division. Cloaks. We tell like we get cloak division and tell them like we're not gonna tell these jackals. Well, I have to figure out how to get. Yeah. Get onto the computer somehow. I. We just don't. Yeah. Or we just don't tell them until we get back. I thought that was my plan. I mean, well, unless they'll probably send the Vivans to, to attack us. Hmm. Then it's out. Hmm. Alright, so... But right now, big, yeah. Right now, the biggest hit is just doing what we came here to do, mm -hmm. letting them know. What's the plan? Well, plan is to make sure all that a radio tower stays safe. Um, I think I can make some mines that'll get around their bloody cloaks. One of those goes off, and the cloak can be covered with some kind of substance. No one will know. People know that asshole. I. That helps. I need to make a. I need to brush up on my uh. Tick tick Tommy lessons and <laughs> make some IEDs. Uh, well, I've got some uh, grenades that are explosive, but you can use the, maybe some of the parts. I... Detonators, stuff like that. Yeah.
Hold on, I'm gonna double check exactly how much I have in <laughs> demolition, and there's five experience points enough to make it better. <laughs> I have a demo of one. Same. Do I have Same. that? <laughs> <laughs> I have like everything. I believe 5 XP is not quite enough to bring it to 2. Man, I'm pretty good with technical, electrical. I don't know if that counts. It helped me disarm bombs before. I don't know that that helps me Make them. set them up. Yeah. And I mean, I... I mean, I'm not, tr I'm not trying to be a Batman villain like, you know, Tommy was. I just want to make some IRA IEDs for the locals to trip over and get covered in goo and probably shrapnel. Sticky bombs. More like paint bombs. Oh, I see. Visibility Except bombs. Visibility bombs with nails. <laughs> yeah, shine them up like blood. Anything's visible when the nail's taken out of it. <laughs> What's that nail doing levitating? <laughs> oh, son of a bitch! Yeah. Intruder alert. Sell the alarm! modification of electronic devices. <laughs> okay. uh. so I'm very good at repairing and modifying electronic devices. Don't nice. know that that... That helps in this situation, but as if they blow up the communications that tower, really maybe. Hi, <laughs> things go tits up. You might be able to, you might be able to call home, <laughs> and they can show up in about three or four years. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we're late, guys. We uh, don't care that much about you. So. <laughs> if I'm still alive by then, I'll be smoking feces just to keep the shakes away. <laughs> Oh, you'll be you'll be uh, cleaned out by then. We frothers never go clean. <laughs> you gotta sponge out his DNA first. All right. You want you lads want to get further, get in some trouble, or head on back and see if we can get oh. those nerves distracted. I, I mean, want to get is, in any trouble. with the computer skill, does that allow me to hack into stuff? I mean, I know it hacks into stuff, but it doesn't allow you to hack into a, a communication line? Uh, mm, not if it was specifically built for dealing with it. Um, you would need another piece. You, you would pro There's some other element that you would need. You would not be able to just do it raw on your own. Okay. We, we can't just, you know, cut the thing, cut a hole in the side and stick his data pad in? No. Okay. It was just a logistical, I wasn't sure how that worked. Kind yeah, of no, you, you're going to need, you're going to need some, some sort of, some sort of either password or key or both. So... Those are things that you need to, again, if you were looking to use the communication channel and try and communicate with Slay without going through the research yeah. team. Only thing I can think of is if I try to convince Grealish that I'm super excited to talk to Slay and then I want to do it instead of him, but uh, <laughs> he doesn't strike me as someone who did even care. You have an urgent message or something, and then maybe. Yeah, but then he would yeah, want to know what it was. Yeah, but then you know you can go with him to the thing and maybe you know spy the password out or something. Use your charms. Using bird charms. Yeah. The plumage is very convincing. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, well... No. Can't do it. Why not? 
No, I there was some other thought I had, but it didn't. That wasn't gonna pan out. I don't. Oh. We have I to get all. I don't. I don't know what I'm advocating for, but it sounds fun. <laughs> So we are going. Do we, we are getting. Do we, do we know how often they communicate with Slay? Like update them. I mean, so far it's been like once a day. Oh, they do it every day. I mean, it, there's been different discoveries that have happened. If there was like a lull or there wasn't anything particularly interesting or exciting, then maybe not. But you've kind of run into a few but... different. Yeah. So they... yeah, this creature thing is an exciting development. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hi. Hey, right. hey. Uh, what if you made a really, really long report that you wanted to submit and like, yes. really long, and inside of said report is some of the information we want to give, but buried inside, <laughs> and that way the sender of the thing doesn't read it, but it's there. Maybe or something. I, you know, put like a little legend at the end saying subsection D, read the first word of every line. That's the message. Yeah, yeah, or make a code, yeah. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll offer to uh, do the report or whatever, because, like, I really like writing reports and I've missed it. There you go. Gotta submit it's those believable because I'm, I'm weird. I'm weird enough for them to believe that. Mm -hmm. uh, you like writing reports, and they say I'm on drugs. <laughs> In our BPN, that we must report weekly-ish for purposes yeah. of progress or something. Did we show them our BPN? Uh, yeah, but it said shit like Campbell Soup on it. We got the, the updated one. <laughs> At some point in time, I don't know. <laughs> right. I'm making this right. up as I go, it's fake. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just spitballing here, guys. Alright, we're getting pretty deep in our alphabet of plans here. Yeah. Uh, what letter is uh, just fuck them already, you know? Kill them all and take it. No, 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 no. Fucking them is after killing them all. Oh. Yikes. I think that's plan Q. <laughs> We're not there yet. Is there a flowchart? I'll create one when I make my report. Ass. <laughs> Love me a flowchart. <laughs> it's all coming together. I'm gonna take pictures of the, uh... The footprint thing and the scales or whatever, so I can yeah, add we're them still to in my the report. Woods. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Take report. You could. Uh, we can take pictures, right? We have. Yeah, absolutely. A yeah, we take pictures. So. We still have our slay phones. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow there's service out here, though, and you're like wondering why. <laughs> I mean, they can take pictures. You just can't get on like Snapchat with them. Oh, I, no, like I know. That. I'm just saying, like, there's a there's like a definitely not Vevafon's Wi-Fi network. I get I get three bars out here. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. What? That's more bars. The network is on Vevafon's only. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my good my good friend Vev. My my join my only my only Fonz page. That's, that's right up there with ASCII. <laughs> Guys, there's Tinder out here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's matching? I matched with all the Bevafons. What? <laughs> they have a lot in common. They're the only ones that have accounts on it. <laughs> <laughs> And then there's, like, one of those, like, That's weird. lizard things. <laughs> Just love rocks. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. So, we get our information. We do not discover the local Tinder page yet. I hate the neighbor kids and their goddamn dirt bikes. Oh. I just get the, the eight-piece Hondas that ride by with loud mufflers. I got a full DJ set going. Uh, <laughs> I got really fun. I feel like you win this. With I live uh, in the quietest neighborhood in this Trump great. and thin blue line flags flying off their trucks like they're some kind of racist pirates and they're fucking rolling coal uh, up the whole goddamn road. Then I got the neighbor kids shooting arrows into my fucking yard. <laughs> I'm sorry, Are you Perry, sure I don't you don't live so in Texas? Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like Texas. <laughs> it sounds like literally ten minutes outside of the city in any direction. Yeah. yeah. I, found a, I found a frickin' uh, QAnon flag the other day. Do they have Place a flag? Out. Yeah, they have a flag. I wasn't sure what it was at first. I thought it was Quail Man, and I got excited. <laughs> it was fucking QAnon, and I drove a little faster. I was pretty sad about that. Alright, so you take your pictures, and you're heading back to Terra 15? Yeah, as yeah. long as no people come out of the visibility in the woods and talk to us. Let's just head back. Yeah, uh, do, are, do they, like, uncloak themselves yet, boss? Nope. You are alone. Or are you? We're never really alone. Oh wait, no. Um, I'm not chipped anymore. <laughs> wait, I I have a, a motion sensor thingy. You're you're fine. Nothing. I mean, the lizards and birds flying around. Okay. That's it. Yeah, I scan the I scan the area with my scope and mm -hmm. whip through all the settings. Yeah. Nothing. Nope. You're good. You're not okay. being, to the best of your knowledge, you aren't, or, to, there is no one here presently, according to all of your sensors. I'm disappointed that there's not some poor 14-year-old village kid that managed to sneak over here with this cloak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think they all have them. Well, you gotta Please. be 15 to get one. Yeah, you stole his dad's cloak or something. <laughs> this is fucking Harry Potter all of a sudden, what the shit just oh, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's going against a tribe of wizards. Wizards, Harry. I'm disappointed that they haven't brought out their shaman magic on this yet. <laughs> back to the lab. All right, you back guys, to the lab again. You guys head back in. Um, yep. Everyone's kind of out in the main area. Um, doing research, doing science. Mm, you know, Kirillish kind of just uh, glanced over. He's like, uh, welcome back. Anything interesting? Yeah. Oh, what? We yeah, we found the, some, we some interesting stuff. Oh, like what? Uh, he walks over to you. Do tell. I show mm. him a picture and I'm like, uh, this would be uh, something that we can send to to slay, right? He, uh, his eyes bat up. He's like, is that from the uh, creature that walked through here the other day? We can assume. It's like, ah, wonderful. He says, uh, were you able to get anything from it? Uh, there's, uh, this, and I show him the picture of the scales, but, uh, it's, it's up pretty high, so that means it must be pretty tall. He nods. It's like, uh, Ren Marn. Uh, Ren Marn walks over and he kind of... Grealish just pulls your phone out of your hand and gives it to him. Um, he says, um, they, uh, the squad found, uh, the tracks where that creature came through. And it seems like they've got some sort of skin sample, but it's, it's high up. Would you be able to retrieve it? Mm. Ren Marn just kind of casually nods. It's like, uh, yeah, no problem. It's like, well, we should get it as quickly as possible and make sure it's still there. And Ren, it's like, uh, I'm on it. Um, he, like, puts his helmet on, uh, and he walks out. Um, Grealish nods, like, wonderful. He says, uh, did you find anything else? Mm, not yet, but I thought that was pretty exciting. Oh, it's very exciting. 
Uh, hopefully Ren Marn will be able to retrieve the sample and we can study it. Yeah. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, would I, would I uh, find a fiber, uh, you know, type of the report for that? Oh, he says, uh, oh, um, sure, absolutely. Um, feel free to submit it to me and then I'll send it over to Slay Industries. Well, I want to send it. It's exciting. I've never done uh, the interplanetary travel, or travel, I mean, uh, messaging before, and uh, I think it'd be really exciting. Oh, he uh, he smiles. He's like, oh, well, if you'd like, you can come with me when I submit it to Slay. And then you'll show me how to do it. It's like, uh, you don't have uh, communications channels. You're not able to. But I can do it for you. But you'll let me watch. I always like, like learning new things. Oh yeah, I, I can I can submit it for you absolutely. With me there. Let me press the button. <laughs> <laughs> um. He, 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 Why though? He gives you a confused look. He's like, uh, okay, just write up that report, submit to me, and we'll talk about it later. Alright. Okay. Zane Can I will... use that computer? <laughs> use what computer? The computer. Oh, I'm gonna says... have to use the computer to type it, it says, up, right? Oh yeah, of course. He says uh, you can you can use one of the common terminals. He motions over to the one of the terminals in the main area. Is that, just for my out-of-game reference, like, mm -hmm. are there different computers or something? Yeah, they Is mean... Is there, like, the one, one that actually has all the info? I mean, the computers are networked together and have certain information, but this communications and the reporting to Slay Industries has done, been done from Grealish's office room, whatever it is. Oh, oh, okay. So basically he's implying that you can type up the report on one of these... Give it to him, and then he will send it to Slay Industries. And one of those computers, is that the one that I was able to kind of sneak on and get some info about yes. other stuff? Yes. Okay. Alright, then Then I, I'll be like, okay. Okay. Does, uh... And give me my phone back. Yeah, right. Renmarn gave it back to him and he gave it back to you when he left, so you have oh, okay. it back already. <laughs> Don't take it. Yeah, no, he uh, he okay, handed it back to you. Up. He was just showing it to Renmarn. Uh, does anybody, anyone do anything else while they're waiting for Renmarn to return and while um, Reggie's writing up the report or are you just kind of hanging around? Uh, Yeah, nothing specific for me, I don't think. Okay. Patch. I'm gonna see if Butch, yeah, I'm gonna see if Butch, I'm gonna see if Butch needs help with shit. Okay. She seems... Her nonsense seems to take up a lot of time and possibly <laughs> require roles. Okay. Um, you kind of go over and uh, Butch is actually studying uh, your blood sample um, that they took from when you got uh, got drowned in the river. Well, you have parasites. <laughs> Well, it's hot, parasites. What's new? <laughs> yeah. You have weird alien parasites. Uh, What's new? <laughs> I don't know. I can't make it any weirder. Uh, so right. She's she's uh, chomping on, like, an unlit cigar um, while she's kind of going through. Like, you can see her kind of, like, swiping through on the screen and focusing in on different areas. All right, Doc. What's in there? <laughs> She, uh, she, like, scoffs a little bit. She's like, well, it's tough to figure out what, uh, what bacteria and parasites is from here and what bacteria and parasites is just from you being you. Um, she looks through. She's like, um, there's, she says there's some few differences in the, um, few differences in what we would normally find for signatures for frothers, but doesn't seem like it's anything 
particularly lethal, toxic, poisonous, dangerous. She shrugs. She says the water samples are fairly clean here. Ah, damn it. Hoping, hoping I get a disease named after me. Well, next planet. So it's always time. I have faith in you. It's <laughs> like, uh, so uh, I overheard that you uh, you found where that that big fucker rumbled through. Aye, big fucker. Mm. Didn't know, didn't know its tracks until we were standing right in the middle of them. No shit. It's like, well, I'll uh. Hopefully, if we can get that sample back, I'll definitely give that a look through. That'll be interesting. All right. It's like, I'm surprised that that thing can even move around. The gravity on here is pretty, uh, pretty close to what it would be on Mort. And normally, if yeah. something gets that big, it just collapses under its own weight. Uh, yeah, that square cubed law they talked about on the animal shows and why giant monsters are not that plausible. She's like, I am fucking amazed you know anything about that. Well, I have to be smarter than I look. Otherwise, I drown every time it rains. I live on Mort. <laughs> she she laughs a little bit. like, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. All right. It's like, well, it could be, could be a lot of things. It could be special bone structure. It could be, who knows? I guess we'll find out at least a little bit, hopefully. You guys Maybe happen blue. to see what direction it went in? So maybe um, we can find it back, follow it back to its lair. I don't think we saw what direction it was going in. Um, there was just a pretty solid line of destruction. It's like, well, we should definitely follow that line next time. All right. See if we can find its find its little home. Maybe due to its unusual size and ability to move around, maybe that and the fact that these locals revere it. Maybe it has some sort of connection to the Ebbish properties in the area. She nods. She kind of glances back at things. She's like, hmm. She's like, there is... There's some real trace levels of flux readings in this sample, actually. She kind of glances up. She's like, you got a little bit of ebb in you, buddy. Ah. Uh her threat's gonna try and set something on fire with his mind. <laughs> you fail terribly. <laughs> um, she uh, fire somewhere. she grabs uh, she grabs a vial of just like the river water um, that you guys collected, and then she kind of passes that under through the um, through the sensors, and she's like, no, "It's she not? She's like, there's definitely flux in the water here. It's like Sonora." Oh. And Sonora kind of comes over and she like points to it. She's like, it's like, that's right, isn't it? Sonora not. She's like, yes, there's something that is lacing the water with flux. Hey, so something that big is obviously the top of the food chain. So with other apex predators, pollutants the area will wind up getting concentrated up there. I do a lot of drugs and watch the Animal Channel. <laughs> uh, Butch kind of kind of chuckles a little bit again. It's like, uh, I think he's gunning for my job, Sonora. Sonora smiles. Um, just as you you lot are kind of talking, Renmarn comes back in and he's got the the patch of skin uh, in his hand, um, kind of like folded over. Um, he has gloves on, um, and he. Uh, it's like, uh, it's like I have the skin sample, uh, and like Butch just kind of like waves him over. It's like, come on, let's let's run this thing through. Let's see what'll happen. See if it's magic. Um, they kind of like lay it out on like a table, uh, and Butch like cuts off a section of it, um, like a slice, about like yay big, uh, and then she kind of like passes it under <laughs> the uh, the sensors, uh, and then like runs. Um, and then you see, like, kind of like a red light kind of, like, light up and shine down on it. Um, and then uh, it does it for about, like, 30 seconds or so. Uh, and then you start to see, like, data kind of coming in on the computer. Um, and then as you do, um, the data starts to scroll more quickly and more quickly. 
uh, and then the computer starts to kind of like hum, like it's running very fast and very hard, uh, and then it just like pop, and there's like a spark, and then it just boof, like cuts out. Um, like Butch kind of jumps back, like oh shit. Well, and Sonoro's like, uh, it's like oh. Uh, and she kind of, like, uh, she dives, she, like, uh, as soon as that happens, she kind of, like, pauses for a little bit, and then she, like, moves over the computer, uh, and, like, pulls the casing off of it, pulls the drive out, uh, and moves over to another computer, and plugs it in, um, and she, uh, she starts, like, looking through kind of, like, the raw data, essentially, um, and then, like, her eyes just kind of widen. Uh, and she's like, uh, the ebb activity in this sample is incalculable. That's interesting. Um, well, give me a fucking PhD. The, uh... Well, I already got one, but, uh... But she's like, uh... She's like, fuck. She's like, uh... She's like, so, this... So... It's like so tweaker was right and this thing is eating all the f eating all the ebb in the food chain um and sonora kind of scrolls through and she says um it's like no i think it's the other way around it's like what do you mean it's like um a lot of the bacteria signatures and the signatures in the water are similar she says uh i think it lives in a body of water around here and then whatever the flux, the ebb, act, the ebb in it is leaching into the water all around it and then into the animals and into the plants potentially. This thing is effectively feeding this planet with with flux and ebb activity. That's pretty awesome. Except for that seems really scary. Some giant ebb creature. Like pure ebb creature. Which is like uh Slay is gonna flip shit when they found out find out this thing's living here. Um Sonora's like she nods, she's like if they can control it, harness it, kill it, I don't know if any of those things are even possible. I like punk can be a pain in the ass. I mean, he's just a wee mortal. This thing. Well, they. Fuck. Fuck me, I'm a rude bastard of pronouns. Alright. <laughs> gotta, gotta ask it. Gotta ask it what its pronouns are. Excuse right. me. This thing. Ab monster. What are your preferred pronouns? <laughs> and it just. Eats you. Crush. <laughs> 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 so, um. Obviously, this this finding has kind of drawn the attention of the rest of the research team, um, who were all wonderful distraction, kind of parsing over the data, um, and just kind of going through it. Reggie, uh, your your time is now. Yeah, you're up, kiddo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> never underestimate yeah, the power I mean, of the I... drug addict. <laughs> Did it. I'd probably be like trying to creep around on the computer while all that stuff's going on. Okay, what are you trying to do? Well, I'm I'm typing my report, but also like simultaneously want to see if I can look at those files. Again. Okay, give me a computer check. Plus nine. Plus nine. Okay. Um, all right. So in going through, um, you, uh, you look through, uh, some of the other, uh, files, uh, and you pull up information on, uh, Caleb, Olamander, Conathor. Uh, so for Caleb, uh, he's a human language specialist. Um, so everything kind of checks out as far as that, um, you know, his, his kind of 
bio of what he's told you so far. But in additional notes, you do find out that Caleb is in massive debt uh, and volunteered to take this expedition as a way to avoid his debtors. I feel his pain. Um, Conathor, uh, Shakhtar Warworld vet, uh, did two tours on Dante. Um, all of those things confirmed. Uh, additional notes on him is that he had five confirmed friendly fire kills. Uh, oh, I wasn't that far off. And then uh, the other one you pull up uh, is for Ren Marn, um, which Ren Marn has an entry, um, but it is totally blank. Um, like, it is just Ren Marn, uh, like, the same file as everybody else, but it is, like, the dossier is completely empty, um, other than for his physical features. So his, like, height, weight, fur color. Um, but any history he has is completely, like, not there at all. Oh, shit. And that's what you, you get, and as you're kind of, like, looking into that, um, Grealish kind of, like, like, you hear him talking, that kind of, like, startles you to fucking alt-tab back to your report. And, uh, yeah. Grealish is like, uh, uh, Reggie, make sure that you, you include this information in, in, in your report if you're going to be talking about the creature. It's, it's going to be important. I mean, I don't want you to leave these things out. Sure. Got it. So he kind of, like, uh, brings you over to have you kind of, and he just relays off information for your report for him for you to kind of copy down almost like you're his secretary essentially is kind of the vibe that you're getting off of him um is anyone else doing anything else while this is going on um i i i've done i've done my duty to my squad i for shrek is going to eat ice cream <laughs> Uh, I'd probably approach Sonora and see, like, I'm trying to do it kind of privately and be like, are you concerned that there's a something that powerful in uh, Ebb on this planet? She, uh, she kind of, like, takes a step back and she's like, what do you think? Uh, I'm scared just because I know just the repercussions of being super proficient in even just a couple different uh, styles of um, can lead to nasty things. If this is, you know, has that higher reading of uh, in it, who knows what it could do? She, uh, she, she shakes her head. She's like, this, the, the, the ab within this creature of obliterates even the most powerful neckanthropes that we have on record he uh yeah. she she shakes her head she's like uh this this thing may have just come straight from white earth I, she shrugs she's like i don't i don't know i do not think it's safe for us to be here any longer than we need to be give me a persuasion check with your newfound, new, newly bought persuasion yeah. ability. That's a four and two sixes. But I'm attractive, so <laughs> I'd like to, I would like to that. agree. <laughs> 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 I agree. It is scary. Let me persuade. Reggie just screams <laughs> across the thing. Um, it's too scary. <laughs> uh, so Sonora just kind of like pauses and she's like, it's terrifying. But it's also potentially the most important scientific discovery that we may have found in centuries. She says, um, as, mm, uh, as members of Slay Industries, we owe it to the company and to ourselves to look further into this. She nods. She's like, um, we, we need to see this through. This, this is extremely important. 
Yes, but uh, maybe we need more reinforcements uh, aside from just us. Uh, this seems like a thing. That you needs are more. you are still you are still taking dictation for. Grinch. Yeah, this is me trying to. I thought this was the same room. She, you, the the two of them step back and have been. Yeah, I was trying to a try private, to see, a to feel out oh. and hopefully conversation. kind of persuade her to yeah. kind of get up the chain right. yeah 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 um, so, i thought i thought we were all in the same room because yeah of the crazy well you're in you're in Sorry. like i said you're in the same room but like but patch kind of pulled sonora back and was yeah, trying to like, kind talk of to them okay. privately further. yeah because if it didn't work like it didn't i didn't want to turn bad mm -hmm. uh yeah no um i mean if you think so but I mean, I, I want to just collect my paycheck and get off this place as soon as possible. So. Um, she says, she's like, well, you're not a scientist. I, I understand that. And I still think once the 30 days is over, then you'll probably be completing your order. But in the meantime, I think that we we owe it to look into this. She's like, I, I'm not saying we go try and kill the thing or, or capture it, but... I don't think either of those are even possible. Probably, but mm, maybe studying. She says, maybe you being an ebb, an, uh, maybe you being an ebonite would actually, maybe it would have some sort of connection with you. If it doesn't just destroy me on site, yeah. It's just, that's, that's also a possibility, I'm not going to lie. I it's mean, like, the ebb is pretty chaotic but we, she some does. of the things that comes out of it some of the ways it changes people are it's true it may just try and consume your energy for its own although it seems to have enough to go around <sighs> just like well my brain could pop like a pimple just being near it if it's too much power <laughs> she laughs she's like oh, or maybe it'll turn you into a neck and throat <laughs> Her threat is in a far off corner in the background of this conversation, trying to bend a spoon with his brain. <laughs> She's, uh, Sonora's Do like, I see that? <laughs> you see for Shrek just staring at a spoon intently. It could mean anything. Uh, I don't know, I might have to be touching something for real in uh, holding work. Never mind. Unfortunately. Um, <laughs> Sonora's like, I mean, I'm, I'm joking, but also we... We've been getting less and less Evans turning into neckanthropes and ones who have been driven mad because they couldn't make the change. This this might spark that again. It's like this could be the key to it. We could we could restore a whole sub race of people if we can figure out a way to harness this thing's energy. That could be interesting. I mean, it would give Evans a lot more power and say I'm more. It's like we're we're getting way way ahead of ourselves. We just we have a lot of a lot of things to consider right now, and honestly, a lot of these decisions will probably be made by people long after we leave this place. You know, we're we're an exploratory discovery mission. We're not going to be the ones who are going to be making any sort of decisions or acting on anything like that. The most they'll do is they may want us to get more samples like this. And she kind of motions to the, the skin, you know, the skin shed that is on the table. <clears throat> well, hopefully you can survive that one. Hmm. Hopefully. Oh. And I can really leave. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think of ways to prank Sh for Shrek using Ebb, and I'm like, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> click he's him solid. He'll think he did it. Click Archer, you you two <laughs> doing anything? Like push his hand a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> click Archer, you doing anything while these while these three are undergoing their various activities? Uh, <clears throat> I think for the time being, I'm keeping my head down and staying out of Conathor's way. Okay, so you're just just staying out of the rubble or staying out of the rabble and I don't yeah. you, you, you in the room you juke off your, your quarters like what'd you do? Uh, well I there. probably want to hear mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm, I'm probably just kind of okay. yeah, off you're to just, one side. Gotcha. 
Uh, Archer? I'm just, uh, observing. I'm there, I'm just... I don't want to screw anybody up. They're doing pretty well right now. Okay. So. All right, um, so, yeah, you, you have your various conversations. For Shrek, you still fail to bend the spoon. Um, Reggie, uh, Grealish, uh, assists you in finishing your report, uh, and then says, like, um, do you want to make the transmission now? Uh, yeah, um... Yeah. I was going to ask what kind of role it is to uh, try to sneak a message into it somehow. It'd is probably that be a like computer or is that something else? It'd probably be like a streetwise or something because you're you're basically just trying to, mm -hmm. you know, like it's you're you're basically trying to put a hidden message inside something. Um, so that would probably be streetwise. A... Yeah, he, he can't do that. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, that's just... Yeah, subterfuge essentially. Um, well, the only reason I thought computer is because of the en encrypting and documentation and all that stuff. But um, <sighs> well, 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 well. It doesn't work. Mm -mm -mm. Give me a computer soul. You are lucky that you you're lucky your GM's a cybersecurity professional for a fucking living because I think I I think I have an out for you that your character might know about. But <laughs> okay, so. Make make your make your roll and then we'll talk. It is a plus nine. Okay. I could use a point of luck to re-roll that for. Are you going? Um. Uh. I mean, so nine thirteen. There's there's two tens. Yeah, I know, but it's it's still a question of whether or not. I I don't think that this is enough to be an insane target number so 13 i think is good uh so there is a form of um uh hiding messages called steganography in which you would actually put the message in the code of a picture for example uh of which you have oh, taken like, some like how they did five nights at freddy's reveals sure Oh, I'm, yeah, Scott Coffin did that on his website a lot. I'm an elder millennial. I don't know any of this. Um, oh, they got a, a message to Ender. I don't know and... that either. Hmm. Never mind. Go ahead. Yeah. So there's uh, so you could potentially put in basically in between the different lines of code of a picture where there would be just basically like loose space. Uh, you could put a message into that. Uh, the difficulty, however, would be communicating to the person receiving it on the other end that there is something in that picture um, that they'd be able to decide, determine without Grealish being able to see it, like be, knowing that it's there. You could throw it in the picture and hope that somebody is smart enough to look through and see, um, but that is not a guarantee. And typically this type of um, message passing is between, like, both... The people on both ends are aware of it, so one knows what to look for. Um, so that... From a computer perspective, that would be your best bet if you were not able to write a code. But again, being able to communicate yeah. that message would be difficult um, in, right. in the existing but, thing. But, but, so, if he does that, at least it has been sent. True. Then, from there comes, he'll try to figure out how to further communicate because he's trying to watch Grealish and what he types and how he does it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's going to be good enough for now, and then figuring out how to tell them that the message is there will come later. Okay. So you, yeah, I you guess. you put the seed in there, you put the info in there. Um, what exactly do you put in? Um like what what are you saying what are you communicating what are you writing just just a very basic message of uh r r p r found in Vebathons or whatever okay okay gotcha um oh, all right boy. i think i think i think because they are so wanted that that would uh yeah, I mean, you would, yeah, uh, if somebody found the message, it would definitely pique their interest, for sure. Um, so, yeah, you put it in there. 
Uh, and then, you know, Grealish, you, um, you, you know, put it on a flash drive, essentially. You hand it off to him. He picks up. He's like, okay, follow me. And then he, uh, he leads you into his office, which is the first time you'll have gone in there. Um, it's, it's, yeah, it's basically his quarters because there's, you know, bed in the corner. It's extremely well kept. Um, there's kind of some soft music playing in the background that's kind of interspersed with, like, nature sounds and things like that. Um, and, uh, he sits down at the computer, uh, and you, you kind of, like, casually, like, observe his, you know, what he does. Uh, so the first thing he does, uh, is he, um, types in a password, uh, and it seems to, like, stay still and stare at the screen like he's, like, registering some sort of facial recognition. Um software or something along those lines uh, that logs him into the computer uh, then from there um, once he's into the computer he pulls he plugs in your drive he moves the files off uh, unplugs it sets it down uh, then he takes another what looks like a little flash or thumb drive and he plugs that into the computer uh, and then when he does that he opens up the um, communications program um, he types in another password uh, and then it opens up the channel, um, and it brings up like a little, basically like a blank box. Uh, and then he takes the file, drags it into that box, uh, and he hits, and, and he, he goes to hit, and, uh, and then he stops. Uh, and then he's like, he kind of motions, he's like, you said you wanted to press the button. Yeah. And he kind of gestures to the, uh, to the, to the keyboard. For the yes, yeah, to, to send uh, the report. Is 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 there is there a way to, to add a note on it or uh mm. or we just press it and it goes? It says all the information's in the report. Just hit it and send. Unless you need to amend oh. it for some reason. Oh. No, I just really Nah, I guess it's fine. Let's just do it. Okay. Rip. Alright, you hit enter. And uh I, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you hit enter and then the thing starts processing, like a progress bar pops up and, um, you see, like, um, various, like, processing commands running through. Um, and then he's like, uh, well, it's going to take a few hours to encrypt and then send out, but, uh, process has started, so good work. He, uh, I, uh, I wanna, uh, well, no, I guess I can't do that. Because he'd see me if I started messaging somebody. Eh, that's all right. I mean, if while he is doing that stuff, if you wanted to throw a quick text message to somebody here, then, I mean, I wouldn't to disallow sure. that. Just sending a uh, quick text for Shrek saying uh, like make distraction oh boy and then delete it real quick <laughs> okay um, for Shrek you get a message on your on your communicator phone thing from Reggie that says make a distraction been nice knowing you guys <laughs> <laughs> what, what he could do? I'm having a heart attack. Soon <laughs> <laughs> move. Um, got to decide okay. quickly, Shrekky. You got parasites. Uh, deciding quickly. Blood. Um. Uh. You got Eb in your blood. You got Eb in my blood. Um. Let's do an experiment. Quick, does it... What's that drug called that Eb Knights take? Uh, white noise. Yeah. Do we have white noise? No. No, he wouldn't have any reason to have it. Alright. <laughs> <sighs> you just ask that out loud, or...? Yes. No, we only carry white noise when we're 
basically going psychotic from ebb exposure. Great. Oh, come on, I was totally winking. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? That's, uh, that, um, I'm going to, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do to start faking psychosis. Um, just can you fart on command? Just like, oh, my stomach. Oh. Um, <laughs> on the floor and then after a couple minutes, I am going to uh, go to the bathroom, uh, shoot up, uh, shoot up my drugs, shoot up uh, ultraviolet, and rush to keep the aches away. And then I'm going to make a cool, cool check to start uh, having a reaction. Okay. Okay. Is there a check you can make to force yourself to have a bad reaction to your drugs? Uh, no, no, no. I'm going to, um, well... I mean, I already have the psychosis drawback, so... Right. Um... We thought um, this would be easier. <laughs> thought this would be easier, but, you know, you need, a, you, need to have rank, you need to have ranks in tying your shoes with this system. Okay. Um... You don't need to have ranks to make a distraction. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna roll a cool check to convincingly have a breakdown. I'm. I mean, if you're trying to, if you're trying to fake, uh, so are you like trying to fake like a like a drug reaction or like a psychotic breakdown? Uh, both. Mm -hmm. Do you have any charisma-based skills like persuasion, oratory? I have interrogation. No, that ain't gonna help. Okay. Ah, uh, crap baskets. Um. It was worth a shot to try. Maybe I should have messaged someone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So. You, so. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Bad. You're I, on a good make, So make a distraction quick, and he goes into the bathroom. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the only, like, so for Shrek, uh, is such a normal agent of chaos that if you tell him to cause chaos, he doesn't know what to do. Like, <laughs> like, uh, so, so then, in that case, I just press the button, and I'm like, whatever. Yeah, At least. um, yeah, you, you hit, you hit cause a distraction, the and then you get, like, nothing <laughs> for, like, a little while, uh, and then, just, yeah, like, you, like, hit the button, and then he's like, okay. It'll, it'll, it's on its way. And then the best you... option for causing a distraction would be to fight the fucking shack tar. We're not there yet. <laughs> so I was like... thinking you could literally do anything that could yeah. be a distraction. Like, throw something, follow, I don't know. I'm just saying. Like... It's freaking out that you lead. actually move, move this spoon, and then I would just back you up. <laughs> and then we'd get everyone to try to study you. I mean, so to be fair, though... It wouldn't have necessary. It wouldn't needed to be have been have. a big enough distraction to cause Grealish to come out of his quarters and deal with whatever no, was going on. But it was. It was uh, worth a shot to try. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, he it was panicked. worth a shot. Yeah. Like I said, I think <laughs> he panicked, that's. I panicked. I think that's funny because, like I said, for Shrek is just such a fucking random person that if you tell a random person to be random, it's like uh like this old analogy I heard about um Billy West who's a, a voice actor. Uh, and, you know, that, uh, when, like, you ask, like, a regular person to, like, bark like a dog, they'll be like, all, all right, woof, woof. But if you ask a voice actor to bark like a dog, he'll be like, nah, I can't do a dog. I don't know how to do a dog. You know, like, it's like one of those things, like, it's just like you live in chaos so much that if somebody asks you to do it, you just don't know what to fucking do because it's not yeah. something you put any effort into. So I think it's really fucking yeah, yeah, funny. Like, it, like, like, <laughs> His brain like slowed down yeah. and analyzed the room. <laughs> yeah. Like Reg um, Reggie was like, "Well, for Shrek is the most 
distracting chaotic yeah. person. So he was like, well, shouldn't he oh, be no. the one? Oh, no. That's 100%. Though, you 100% made the right decision. But his reaction was also, like, equally as fucking good and valid. Because it was literally just like, like, what? Okay. <laughs> just like, yeah, whatever. there was... There was, like a, there was like a there was like a quick threat analysis that went through his mind. It's like uh, cause distraction, fight Shaktar. No, nope, that's death. Yeah, but we do not have nearly enough time. <laughs> yeah, so you 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 kind of scramble, but you got your message in there at least, and it's on its way. Um, so uh, you know he comes back out. He you know let the two of you lead back out of his quarters. Um, he goes back to kind of the data. You have a little bit of an opportunity to like reconvene with the group and talk to, talk to for Shrek and ask him what the hell happened. <laughs> Why do you get asked that so often? What the hell happened? <laughs> hell happened. I don't know, lad. You, I, I had two options. Both, one took too long and one was lethal. Mm. Didn't okay. seem... Didn't have an appropriate road. <laughs> I mean, I can, I can try with Butch later, but the moment's past. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Uh. There's an art to these things. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, any um. Any last, you know, before we wrap the session, bit of strategic discussions, next steps, anything like that you want to talk he... about privately? Yes. yes. Uh, when when we're all talking and can't be heard. Yeah, that's fine. Uh... The rest of the group is still kind of, they're kind of going over the data, discussing things amongst themselves. Like, you're definitely at a point where you can kind of talk in private. So, like... Reggie would share that he kind of saw how the communication thing works and uh, that it seems to require facial recognition. So then he's like, uh, anyone know how to? Yeah. Anyone have anything to knock out Grealish so uh, we can... Cut off his face. <laughs> <laughs> sneak, sneak in there and put his head next to the computer and send it. <laughs> that kind of unconsciousness comes with brain damage. <laughs> also, or drugs. Also, and he looks up for Shrek. <laughs> I have stimulants. Give him my shit. He, he will is. be more of a problem. Didn't, didn't Neophron I give you, on ultraviolence. Didn't I in, no, didn't I, I sneak in something? Numb. We can like overdose him with mind numb. <laughs> no, I brought mind numb. We can overdose him with mind numb, and he won't care. How big's that lad? Not very the big. Same size as me. Yeah. Belly smaller. Oh. oh, yeah. Four shots of mind numb. You won't. You won't care if someone's trying to cut your face off. <laughs> I I don't want to cut his face off. That's I what just. We're doing. I just. Also, also, Patch. He's a bloody neophron. You can't cut their face off. Oh yeah, the bell. <laughs> yeah, we have beaks. Aye. Well, yeah. No. Well, I'll dose this bloody lad. Let me just load up the boopa. I. I. I'm well, gonna. Lo I'm gonna load my device with four do. Actually, um, Reggie. Well, we're not necessarily doing it now. We're just <laughs> talking about it and making sure we All have right. a plan ahead. Of All time. of a sudden, he just jams his boopa on the other side of his fucking religious face and just drops him. <laughs> <laughs> we need to modify. <laughs> Are you really gonna handle this device. guy? That's that's brutal. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not cutting off his head. We're just gonna <laughs> drug him up when he's sleeping. Hi. And so he doesn't wake up. Hey. Oh. Okay. I, I mean, mine. Yeah, my nun won't wake him up. Right, and then not cutting his head off. We're just sneaking onto the computer, sending a quick message, and that's it. That's all I'm um, trying to do. <laughs> I have something incredibly racist to clarify. It's not true that your bodies keep running around after you cut the head off, right? 
<laughs> Reggie punches for Shrek oh, with shit. his wing. He's never, he's never hit anybody before like that, it's just, except for in training, and he's just like, ah! <laughs> Has second thoughts about shooting Carrion, but uh, we'll punch at first race's comment. Yeah, uh, yeah, um, that kind of gets the attention of the of the team, uh, who they kind of like go in and like break it up at this point. For, for Shrek, what what do you do after you get punched in the face by Reggie? Enjoy it. I I mean, it, he's gonna take. It's gonna. I'm not sure he's gonna notice. Okay, it's so Reggie. You don't, like, fight back he doesn't or, really. Yeah. Yeah. It's have like, a, oh, right. have a one in melee, so yeah. Yeah. Probably... Yeah. yeah he, is Reggie's hand okay? Hand combat, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, so it's not really like a big like pull apart brawl. More as like a butch is like, oh, whoa, what the fuck? But that gets oh, the attention of oh, them. Oh, wow. oh, oh, wow. Um, oh, Reggie's hitting me. And oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll we'll end it there. Um, so everybody take two XP. Does anybody want to nominate someone for a third? Uh, how much is it to go from one to two in a skill? Is it five? Mm, three. three. I actually have it all written down right here. One to two is five. Oh. And two to three is eight. Okay. Oh, yeah. Going I could uh, Okay. Okay. I'm gonna up my I'm gonna up my explosives for when we make the uh, visibility mines. Okay. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Get uh, Sabrina's OP. Give her another one. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I feel like Reggie's gotten like the last two or three. I think we have to. We have to. I, I mean, yeah. we got to nerf. Gonna, it wouldn't be I'm fair. I'm gonna dominate myself. We got to nerf the bird. Hunted. Um. No, I'll give it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make a GM's uh, intervention and give it to Vershrek here. Try to climb to get the stuff. Um, the the failure to be to do something random was just really fucking funny to me. So we're gonna... yeah, Reggie. Reggie refuses to give you credit for that, but it's totally fair. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we'll, we'll give. You we'll made give it Reggie that. Reggie punch you. I mean, Reggie never gets angry. That is angry, true so. too. Yeah, that's true too. <laughs> so. is, I I feel if Reggie had sent for Shrek anything else except for cause a distraction, <laughs> it would have caused a distraction. Probably, I guess. Like yeah. if you had said, "Hey, go try to be stealthy <laughs> and see what uh, what like." Or Butch wants to hook up with you. <laughs> like. Go try to be stealthy and, like, see what Sonora is working on. But don't let her know. And that would have caused a huge distraction. <laughs> yeah, work on your acrobatic skills. <laughs> All of a sudden, for Shrek, starts breakdancing in the common room. <laughs> I think or, I saw a rat in our ask, corner. Ask the... <laughs> Ask the racist question to Grealish. <laughs> it was with you at the time. That would have been a distraction. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Grealish would have been. <laughs> oh, that's good. All right. I, I, I figured, I figured that would be like an a jo in universe joke since we're talking about decapitating a neofron anyway. Oh yeah, they're basically chickens. No, that makes sense. That's yeah. that's fine. Yeah. We have just we have uh, we have agreed that uh, neofrons are essentially all all different types of bird stereotypes applied to neofrons based on comedic value. So that is totally fine. <laughs> oh, um, is everybody going to be? I know. <laughs> is everybody going to be good for next week? Um, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. Good, good. I will be away two yeah. weeks after uh, uh, today, but for next week we will be good to go. Good. Excelente. Well, thank you all for, for coming back. Welcome back after three long weeks off, and I'll see you all next week. See? Reggie's going to spend all that XP on melee and kick Just my ass. Just the shit out of you. It's going to be great. <laughs> all right. Take care, everybody. The idea.